will come again. In this lesson, I will discuss on classification of nutrients. Type 1 versus type 2 nutrients, organic versus inorganic, and the macro versus micronutrients. Classification of nutrients can be then on the basis of how body responds to a nutrient deficiency as type 1 and type 2, and also on the basis of quantity required by the body as macronutrients and micronutrients, and also based on composition as organic and inorganic. To start from type 1 and type 2 nutrients, Type 1 nutrients are those nutrients whose deficiency result in specific physical signs. For example, iron deficiency can cause anemia, thiamine deficiency cause beriberi, niacin deficiency cause pellagra, vitamin C deficiency cause scarve, vitamin deficiency cause xerophthalmia. So those are type 1 nutrients. A deficiency of type 1 nutrients result in a specific physical sign. So, iron, thiamine, niacin, vitamin C, vitamin A, uh, those are some of the common diseases caused by deficiency in type 1 nutrients. Whereas type 2 nutrients are those nutrients whose deficiency results in reduced growth or weight loss. Type 2 nutrient deficiency induces preservation of plasma and the tissue levels, even at the expense of growth repairing the immune system. Therefore, it is necessary to note that the deficiency of type 2 nutrient does not show any physical sign or clinical symptoms and it's difficult to identify. Moreover, there are no characteristic symptoms to distinguish which type 2 nutrient deficiency an individual has. So, type 2 nutrients result in reduced overall growth and individuals with type 2 deficiency are stunting in growth and have no visual signs or difference from normal individuals. The most common types of type 2 nutrients are nitrogen, sulfur, essential amino acids, potassium, sodium, zinc, magnesium, phosphorus. They don't have, their deficiency doesn't cause specific symptoms, unlike that of type 1 deficiency. The next classification is organic versus inorganic. Organic nutrients include the macronutrients such as carbohydrate, protein, fat, and the vitamins. And an organic nutrient contains both carbon and hydrogen. Organic nutrients can be made by living organisms and are complex, made up of many elements bound together. So in essence, they are alive and therefore can be destroyed or broken down. Whereas inorganic nutrients include both water and the minerals. Inorganic nutrients do not contain both carbon and the hydrogen unlike that of organic, and they are not created or destroyed. Minerals can be destroyed, so they are the ash left when a food is burned to completion. Minerals are also not digested or broken down, as they are already in their simplest form. They are absorbed as in then shuttled around the body for their different function and then excreted. They are not created or destroyed, unlike that of organic nutrients. The other classification is macro versus micronutrients. Micronutrients include vitamins and trace elements because they are needed by the body in very small amount. However, their impact on the body cells are critical and the deficiency in any of them can cause severe and even life threatening condition. By definition, a trace element is less than 0.01% of the body's weight. So, vitamins, vitamin A, for example, and the trace elements uh, like iron, they are uh, macronutrients. Macronutrients are carbohydrates, fats, and the protein. They are called micronutrients because they are nutrients we see in the largest amounts. Macronutrients are the nutritive components of food that our body needs for energy and to maintain the body structure and the system. Those are the most common form of classifying nutrients. Thank you for watching.